Upgrade your workflow in Google Docs by using table templates and drop-down boxes. Now, how do we get started on using these? First thing I'll do is add in a drop-down. How can I do this? Well, I can go to the top where it says insert and then select drop-down, or I could also simply type an at and start typing drop-down. This pulls up that option right there. Now here you have a number of different dropdowns that are suggested. These are pulled in from the templates as part of Google Docs, as well as previous ones that you've used in this document. So you can see here it says document dropdowns and at the bottom presets. So let's have a look at these presets. We have our project status. This is the not started, blocked in progress, completed, or a review status, not started in progress under review. I want to create my own. So I'm going to go to the top, click on new dropdown. I'm going to give this a template name. So we're going to name this example EduFlip. And then here I'm going to select my options. Now I can add more options or remove options. For this demo, I'm just going to use three options. I'm going to have the approved, I'm going to add in review, and then I'm going to say ideate because this is still in the starting stages. I can give these colors. So let's go ahead and give this a red color. The review is yellow and then approved will be green. Here I can now click on save and that drop down is right here. You can see it can easily be changed and I can also add or edit the options. Now, what can you do with these dropdowns? Well, you can use them for a number of different workflows. So here scrolling down, you'll see I have my first table template and this is a product roadmap. Here we have the project, so we can have a project title. And then this is the status, not started, in progress, launched, recalled. I can link in related files. So if I have a file linked to this, I can simply start typing at and then here at the bottom, you will see I have a number of files pulled in from my drive. I'm going to add in this file and I can add some notes. Please check uh, the file. This can then be reviewed by someone else with editing rights to this document and they can change the status right here as they are working through this. Another example is the review tracker and the project assets. Now you might wonder, well, where have these come from and is this going to take a lot of time to create? Well, actually, we have a number of table templates available in Google Docs. Here we can go to the top, insert, go to table and then select the new table templates. You can see here we have a product roadmap, review tracker, project assets and launch content tracker. Let's go ahead and select one of these. We're going to select the content tracker and everything is filled out for us. Let's say we want to use a different one. Well, we can always select a different table template here. Let's say that we use the review tracker and everything is filled out for us. Now I have gone ahead and created my own. One example is here at the bottom, an example of our report writing flow. So let's say that you are writing your school reports, your class reports, and they need to be proofread by someone and then approved. Well, I've created it so that it is easy to keep track of that. Here we have our student names. I've created a drop down for the comment section. In other words, in progress, ready to proofread, proofread and senior leadership team approved. This is all set up by just creating your own. And then here under effort, I have our school's grading systems. We have outstanding, good, inconsistent and reflection. And then the attainment. Again, you can use whatever your school uses to then select the correct attainment band. As I'm using this new feature, you can really speed up that workflow, make sure you're not missing anything and everyone is informed on what the different options are and where your project is at in its life cycle. Now for even more Google Docs tips, click on the suggested video here and I will see you in the next one.